Hey, what's up? My name is Chelsea and this is my YouTube channel. So this is my very first YouTube video I have ever made, ever filmed, and I'm so excited to be doing this. I've wanted to do it for a very long time, but I've been trapped in my head. You know, am I good enough? Am I gonna do well enough? If someone is someone from my hometown gonna see and you know me feel embarrassed, but you know what? I'm 24 and frick it. This is a passion and we're gonna do it. So I'm so excited and let's just get into it. So my plan is to have a weekly video out for you guys as we go along on this journey. And I'm so stoked, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be learning a new hobby together. And that new hobby is going to be film photography. So this is a 35 millimeter Minolta, and I'll talk more about it in a second. But I just wanted to let you guys, you know, know my history a little bit with photography. I got my first DSLR camera in 2010 for Christmas from my mom. And since 2010, I have used so many different kinds of cameras. My current camera is a Canon, but I have a lot of experience with Nikon as well. And in the last couple of years, I've also started using Polaroid cameras, a bunch of different kinds. I collect vintage cameras, so I've got so many different ones that I've played with and love and use that I can show you guys in a later video if that's something that you want. And if it is something that you want to see, just let me know in the comments and I will show you my whole collection. I've got like 20, 25 cameras that I just can't stop buying. I also have my own Instagram and Facebook account for my photography and it's Chelsea G Photography and I'll link it down below so that you guys can go check it out and give me a follow or a like or comment. Let me know what photos are your favorite so I know what kind of content to bring here, the kind of photos and sessions that you guys want to see, especially with learning all this new film photography that would be really cool to bring to my page and just know the aesthetic that you guys really like and see if you really like my aesthetic. So there are three things that you need to make sure that you have to start this hobby. One, you gotta have a camera. This is the one I'm using. So the one that I'm gonna be learning on is a XG7 Minolta. This is one that was gifted to me for my birthday from one of my best gals, Emily Grace. Shout out to you. She found it at their store and thought it would be so cute for my collection and so did I. So this is the one I'm gonna be learning on. The second thing you need to make sure that you have is film. This is a pack of three that I got from Adorama.com, I think is their site. I'll list it down below for you guys. And I know that they have a bunch of other different photography products. They may have other electronics as well, but I know for sure a bunch of different photography things. It was only about $12 for this pack of three, and I think shipping was only like two bucks. So very inexpensive, and I would definitely recommend them to anyone who is, um, interested in photography. You'll want to get some of this and just to kind of show you I had to watch another YouTube video to learn how to load my film into my camera. I'll also link that below for you guys as well. So if you're starting this journey or you've already been on this journey and you're ready to already start or you just want to know you can watch it and learn. I've already loaded my film in here but I will give you a quick little look. Just quick because I don't want to ruin any more film than I have to <laughs> from exposing it to the sun and the light but yeah so that's the that's the film that I use I've already got it loaded but I will link the video on how I loaded it down below the third thing that you need to make sure that you have are batteries for your camera and for film cameras they don't take usually they don't take AA or AAA batteries so You've got to make sure that you have the right batteries for them so they'll start working. It's usually some type of um, battery that looks like a watch battery. But what I'll do, it's usually find it on the bottom. And usually what I'll do is take a quarter and twist it like this until it's done. Then tilt it over and there are your batteries. The batteries that mine take are the 357 slash 303 and like I said they just look like little watch batteries and these are actually dead but I put in a drive up pickup order at Target but I need to go pick those up so that I can begin shooting wait did I do number two so in the next video I will take you guys with me on a shoot whether I'm photographing 
photographing my husband or my dogs or having him photograph me, I will show you all the things that I'm using here, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, locations. It'll be so cool and fun. If you already know something about film that you can teach me, I would absolutely love for you to comment down below and to give me some kind of tips and pointers, especially with just getting started. It would be really, really helpful and beneficial. And I'm just really looking forward to filling up this roll as fast as I can so I can get it sent off and see the results, the good and the bad. And I'll definitely share them for you in a different video just so we can all learn together and, you know, learn from the bad ones that I've taken, <laughs> what not to do and why we shouldn't do it. And I don't know, just have some fun with it. Make fun of me, you know? Like I said before, I'll make sure I have all the links down below so that you can start this with me. And next week, we'll go on a shoot together. So thank you for joining me on my very first YouTube video. I'm so excited for this journey. And it's just, it's going to be fun. It's going to be so great and happy. And by the end of it,